Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Drowning in a Pond. No, <laughs> to Moon Pressure Let's Plays. My name is Hecto, and today we are continuing with Paradise Killer. Episode 14, I believe? No, 15. Today we are beginning our semi-final roundup. Yeah, we are trying to check off the boxes on all of these people here. And Carmelina is right next to us, so why not start with her? Not really my favorite character in this whole charade, but still. She's close, so she has that going for her. Halt! What do you want? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lady Love Dies even said, do we have to do this every time? Okay, then let's hang out first. Can I ask you something, Architect? How can I help, Lady Love Dies? The investigator is here. This island has an air of quietude. Craft is its own reward. It does indeed. There is a balance here. I'm glad to be back. Where does the balance come from? Positioning of function creates form. The functions of the island are arranged as a diamond on a compass. Everything has a place only it can have. You place function over form? As you should. This is nonsense. It is a folly to prioritize form over function. Without function, a design is worthless. I actually agree with her there. As someone who prefers substance over style and practicality over, over looks, uh, I, I am very much in agreement with her. An architect that is sacred of function and tries to hide away is a coward. Oh, that is scared of function and tries to hide away is a coward with narrow tastes. How do you mean? It is not happenstance that I chose to expose the workings of the island. For example, electricity meters on the side of buildings are not hidden in a more form-fitting hatch or closet. They are exposed and allow us to appreciate their function. If we can find function visually appealing, we have grown. We have achieved perfection. The circumstances you find yourself in are of course terrible. But I do hope you enjoy your time exploring this island. I do. At least somewhat. Some, sometimes it's frustrating, but that's more... Uh, the fault of the movement system, not, not of I'm the island itself. Back. Thank you for your time, Architect. <gasps> Investigator, can we discuss something of a delicate nature? Oh, preparing to feed us false information? Because I don't trust her. From what we have found out so far, she is one of two main perpetrators in this. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know if this is relevant, but I will disclose it. At midnight, Witness was fiddling with his phone. Oh yeah, she is throwing the, the B-plot under the bus here. Sure. Did you see what he was doing? I didn't. I don't like this. Midnight was when the council were murdered. We were in the middle of conversation. He abruptly took out his phone and started using it. He was tapping at it for a few seconds. Did he step out of the room? <gasps> no, why do you ask? <laughs> that means he wasn't making a call. Or if he was, it wasn't one that was answered. Sure. Did he say what it was about? No, he acted like nothing happened. Thank you, Architect. Yeah, I am guessing during the trial Shinji's advice of playing the parties against each other will come, come to be invaluable. Okay, we have a lot more stuff opened up. Did you see Lydia and Sam last night? You need to speak to Yuri, Investigator. He was Lydia's handler last night. Did you see Yuri last night? How dare you! He is my secretary investigator. 
it would be strange were I not to see him. So, that was before you went to Witness's apartment? Yes, we concluded our business for the day, and he left to deal with the fairy woman from the celebratory gardens. Okay, corroboration. Yuri claims that the reality folding device caused the comms blackout last night. Is that something that can happen with the reality folding device? I beg your pardon? Why are you asking me? The drive is operated by Masahiro Heavy Industries, but none of their representatives are left on Paradise. You're the architect, so I thought you might know something. I can't help you with the specifics, but there have been instances of the drive causing blackouts at the end of an island. Ooh, the investigator is here. Did you experience it last night? No. They are localized though, so that isn't to say it didn't happen. The drive performs a burst to power each island. It throws a lot of radiation and particles out into the air. If Yuri was in a patch of radiation, it would have caused a blackout temporarily. Don't test me! Do you think it is convenient that it happened around the time of the murder? Do your job. <laughs> I mean fair, do you? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to work out. Yuri is a loyal member of the Syndicate. You'd do well to focus on the real suspect instead. Okay... What if I've said there were secret trans-dimensional corridors crisscrossing the island? Craft is its own reward. I'd say that you have spent too long in the scorching sun. <laughs> so you don't know anything about them? I have no idea what you're talking about. To be clear, you are denying crafting secret corridors and hiding a killer within them. Oh ho ho, subtle! Your name isn't Lady Love Dies. Of course I am. That's totally unbelievable. I think you need a rest, investigator. Crime doesn't rest, so nor do I. Let's see you explain this away in the trials. Explain what? A total fantasy? We'll see. Yeah, okay, I didn't think she would be that direct. <laughs> a little more subtlety would have been appreciated. Hmm, okay. Do you know anything about the Third Holy Seal? It is a secret investigator, built without my knowledge. Oh, she, we aren't even going to, to talk about it in any way. What do you know about the Fourth Holy Seal? We have achieved perfection. Nothing, investigator. It is not my place to know. If no one knows how to get into the council building and the next island is already built with a new council building, how will the new council get into it? A good question. If the seals on the next island cannot be breached, we will rebuild the council building. The perfect next island already sounds less than perfect. Craft is its own reward. Perfection requires adaptability. We will adapt. Want to tell me what you were doing carving flesh from a god? Do your job. How dare you accuse me of a vile crime like that? That is the height of heresy. When love dies, all that remains are the facts. Crying Grudge said it himself. This is nonsense. No such thing happened. I think it did. Believe what you want. Then you will need some evidence. You are accusing the leader of the syndicate of one of the worst crimes imaginable. The leader of the syndicate? Temporary leader. Okay. I mean, what more evidence would you need than the person itself testifying that flesh was carved from him by Carmelina? I mean, that's pretty, pretty compelling. Especially seeing as Crying Grudge has no horse in this race. Hmm. But we, we already have the evidence with Daino Nigate and Flesh being grafted to him, so yeah. It shouldn't be too much trouble. I've been in your bunker! Uh. Why was it coded only to witness this blood vial? I have no idea what you're talking about. It embarrasses me to say. But it was a lover's retreat. I disliked the design as a bunker and dropped my plan for them. It said unused. We have achieved perfection. Spending time there with witness felt illicit. Exciting, but things didn't work out. I haven't been in there in years. Yes, admittedly, that is true. 
So I saw in the locks I pulled from it. I don't like this. So you definitely weren't experimenting on a killer demon in there. Absolutely not. Okay, a new note logged in Starlight. I kind of want to see that. But we have to finish the dialogue first. Know anything about demons on the island? Do your job. Besides the one that resides within the killer? Nothing has been proven yet. He's still an alleged killer. Quite. The marshals did an e exemplary job of wiping the demons out. It was not enough to stop the corruption, though. Why did you go to Henry's exorcism? Craft is its own reward. I have an acute interest in preventing the islands from succumbing to demonic corruption. It is rare to be able to see the effects of a possession firsthand. Okay, fair, but there are still a lot of things that don't add up. Yes, yes, yes. Then let's look at that note. If the marshals were body swapped, the bodies must, must have come from somewhere close by. We already know that. Library syndicate. Who would have given Henry a demonic book? Hmm. Wait. Did Carmelina's hidden killer commit the crime to end all crimes? Probably, but let me just look at her again. Oh, no. Uh, sorry. Okay, we actually don't see a wedding ring on her. Doesn't really prove anything, but I just wanted to check. Hmm. Who could be up next? Hmm, we haven't been to Crimson's place in quite a while. So, let's just go there. Oh god, where even am I? <laughs> I totally got lost again. But anyways. Ill-fated pleading letter obtained. A mother pleads for mercy. Her son transgressed. Love between the syndicate and citizens is expressly forbidden. Okay, wonder who that could have been. Hmm, never been here before. Oh no, we have. There is an empty casing here. Okay, Crimson, where are you? With the air dash, we are suddenly supremely mobile. Wait, is this witness's apartment here? No. No, it is not. Oh, it's it's Lydia's little little art pad. Yes, over there. Oh, and there even was something. Did you see it? it there was something over there. We should be able to reach it from. Wait, I'm hearing stuff even more close by. No, it should be the one up here, right? Oh, it's it's just a blood crystal, and more blood crystals here. Blood crystal obtained. I don't know if there's still something left to to purchase with those, but seeing as we are going to to crimson right now, maybe it's not a bad idea to pick these up. Cool melon obtained. A slightly sweet melon-flavored soda best enjoyed on a summer's day. Under a tree, fearing the last drop and having to return to whatever it was you were doing. Ah, relatable. I actually do not like melons, but melon soda tastes surprisingly good. Come crimson there. Oh, and even more stuff here. Yes, the canals are here. And I 
I still hear stuff. Hmm. Oh well. Can't find it all. Probably above me. Okay. Starlight upgrades. Oh, I think she only has starlight skins, right? Nice doing business with you. <laughs> I mean, let's just buy one. New starlight skin obtained. Oh well. Oh, investigation freak obtained. Can she breathe life back into paradise? That one's actually really cool. It's it's Lady Love Dies' portrait from back when she was slim before before her exile. I'll probably equip that later, if I if I remember. Good time for a chat, Crimson. What are you planning to do with your amassed wealth? If trade is good, you're carrying a lot of blood crystals. A quiet life. That's why I'm down here, away from the tower. Not the greatest fan of people. Thank you. Having a big chunk of change allows you to live your life in peace. Hmm. Oh, misanthropic. You sure that's healthy? <laughs> Thank you, lady. Have you tried that new beer I'm on the can of? It's good. Got it. Not yet. Is it worth it? That's strange. You think I'd put a name to any old piss water? There's a competition to win a date with me and... Uh, with a winning ring pull. Anyone win? Good. I'll let you into a little secret. There are no winning ring pulls. Figured. Don't be coy. I know certain things about the Dead Nebula Company. I told the CEO that I know these things, and she made the winning ring pull disappear. I'm not a prize to be passed around. Sorry. I dread to think what you f your file on me looks like. I know all sorts, but there's always more to learn. Maybe you can learn more about me one day. I have my way. Don't be a tease. Be seeing you, lady. Okay. Yeah, KHX missing is currently the main crime she is supposedly involved with. But let's get the alibis out of the way. Did you see Lydia and Sam last night? Lydia should have been doing her fairy woman duties. The log at the gate should confirm something about that. Okay, witness's alibi. Did you see witness last night? I heard Camelina went to visit him last night. You should speak to her. Did you see Yuri last night? Yuri handles Lydia on the last night of an island. You should speak to her. Did you experience a comms blackout last night? From the reality folding drive burst? Not down here. Those are very rare, lady. If he's using that as an alibi, you need to be skeptical. Did you see the architect last night? Yeah, we, we still need to ask her for a lot of alibis, because we haven't seen her since episode 4 or so. <laughs> <laughs> I heard she was hanging around with witness last night. You should ask her. Seems odd. Okay... Then the seals, she, she shouldn't know about those. Oh, but she may know about Henry's father. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? Thank you. It's an open secret that it didn't require some kind of godliness to get through. <gasps> an open secret? First I've heard of it. Word got out a while back. From whom? Shouldn't there be an M there? I am always uncertain when it comes to whom. No, it is for whom, not from whom, sorry. Not sure. It just kind of bubbled up. Someone probably got loose lipped after a drink. So everyone in the syndicate would know how to breach it? Not the specifics, but anyone says they don't know anything about it, they're lying. Trying to cover their asses now that you're here. Time to uncover some asses. Go get him, Tiger! Wait, shouldn't that be noted down? That seems like key evidence! Do you know anything about the third holy seal? Good work! I know that it will cost you. I mean, yeah. Nice doing business with you. 
It's a bloodlock. That's strange. How do you know that? Thank you. I have my ways. Someone let it slip. Sure. Who? Ice Kiwami. Always this name. This dude did a lot of stuff before offering himself. What made him tell you? That will always be my secret. Got it. Who else knows? Who can say? May the gods carry him through the cosmos, be it, but he was easy to manipulate. He had a weakness for women and easily gave in to cosmic fear. Who knows who talks to who on this island? Who knows what secret meetings happen in quiet rooms? Who knows what gets said when someone has the fear of the gods put into them? Don't test me! Well, that narrows it down. It did, actually. Manipulated by women, which would be Carmelina, and having the fear of the gods put into him would be witness. I mean, yeah, weak to women could be any other woman on this, on this island, truthfully, but oh well. Do you know anything about how the council enters the penthouse? Secrets breathe mysteries. If I knew the secrets of the valley, we wouldn't be doing this dance. I don't mean the seals. I mean, how do they go in and out frequently? Are they in there every day? The penthouse is reserved for special business. It takes a lot to get the council in there. Big building to be hardly ever used. Montserrat loves his concrete. He wanted something large and imposing. Something to reach to the heavens without the audacity of Babylon. Why not build it on the mountain if he wants to reach the heavens? Good work. The mountain is reserved for holy grounds. The temple is carved into it. You don't argue with the high priestess. Anyways, Montserrat decided that the council would only enter the penthouse together. His paranoia was growing unabated. Did you know he always carried a gun? The old Montserrat never used to do that. So it would be weird if I have evidence of a council member entering by themselves two days before the murder? If a council member did, they'd be going directly against our leader. Risky move. And none of us are privy to everything that happens with the council, so I can't say for sure. I haven't heard anything about the council members disobeying him though. If that's the evidence you've got, something is definitely suspicious. Yeah. It has to be Sam with the, the stolen blood. Still, I, I got my ev evidence confused and I do not remember if blood from every council member was missing because someone force-fed Henry the all-council member blood cocktail. Yeah, which could only have been collected at the scene if it wasn't stolen beforehand. Okay. Who could modify birth records on the island? What kind of modification? Redactions scrub the identifiers. Doom Jazz is the one that fills in and signs off on the birth records. If it was done at the time, it would have been him. What? Have you got redacted records? Jealous. Don't be coy. Curious how you have them and I don't. I poked around in an apartment. We're in a dark time. Don't be coy. If you want help, tell me more. Ice Kiwami. Well, there's the link. Him and Doom Jazz are tighter than tight. If Ice put his dick where it shouldn't have been and needed to hide it, Doom Jazz would have helped. The investigator is here. Is there a way I can prove who tampered with the records? Not likely. Why did Ice take his own life? <laughs> I see a train of thought. Weird. We don't know. He jumped from the roof of the HQ. What the hell? Foul play? No, there were witnesses. Got it. Surely you have some suspicions. I have my way. I think he made some mistakes and realized how much trouble he was going to be in. I think he had let too many secrets slip and been in too many people. There are only so many indiscretions you can hide. And if you want some free advice, don't talk to Doom Jazz about this. He owed Ice his life and won't appreciate your prying. Yep, we found out the hard way already. I don't like this. I have a job to do. I know, it's just advice. Got any products that relate to Henry's father? Digging in the past, lady? Is there truth in the mist of time? 
An investigator investigates. The third holy seal is a bloodlock that requires council blood. I need to know where Henry got that blood from. Henry's father is an odd one, isn't it? The syndicate controls this island. The citizens monitor it like cattle. This slipped through, though. I've been trying to find out the answer myself. I don't like unknowns. Business is booming. I haven't got much, but I do have something to sell. I mean, yeah, corroboration is always good. Nice doing business with you. I've got records of some private financial transactions between Rena Division and Ice Kiwami. Ooh, the investigator is here. What kind of transactions? Ice was given her money. Henry was born 27 years ago, right? These transactions date back to 27 years and 5 month months ago. And? I thought you were an investigator. Why would a powerful council member be giving personal money in secret transactions to a female citizen five months before her only child was born? That's strange. Oh. Yeah, more evidence is always good. Hmm, okay. Do you know anything about One Last Kiss? <laughs> is that her name? She's good at hiding herself, but I've seen her. Got it. Do you know who she is? I figure some kind of spirit, but I don't know who she was in her former life, though. What do you know about the murder of Grey's bloodlines? Subtle as always, Lady Love Dies. Ah, that makes sense. Business is business. I've got something good. Are you buying? Good. Oh, nice crystals. Do you think it's strange that Carmelina went to the exorcism? Sure. I do. Seems like a dangerous situation for the architect. Very. There was a reason, though. Some syndicate members use encryption and messages to each other. There's a lot of politics and scheming on the islands, after all. Don't be coy. I monitor any communications I can. The new network traffic is mostly boring, but sometimes someone forgets to encrypt something. While Kamalina was heading to Henry's apartment with Grace, she messaged Akiko and told her to step out of the room while Grace was doing the exorcism. Yes, Ak... Wait, Carmelina messaged Akiko and told her to step out of the room, yeah. What the hell? Her so-called lapse in procedure was planned. Sure was, lady. Sounds like a plot to me. Don't test me. My work is never done. Sure. Have you got a copy of this message? Uh-uh. They realized their mistake and scrubbed their phones afterwards, so don't expect to be able to confirm this with their phones. Okay, that's not that strong. Besides, it was 10 years ago. Everyone got a Masahiro update since then. Hmm... Leave her alone with him. Okay. I mean, I believe Crimson Acid. I absolutely believe her, but... <laughs> that doesn't hold up in court, right? Crimson, you got the inside track on demons on the island? You mean Shinji? Sure. Let's start with Shinji. Thank you. He's a little arsehole, but he's harmless. <gasps> You've met him? Why hasn't he been captured? He's weak. He has to choose when and where to physically manifest himself, so he avoided capture. You've not reported him? He's helped me with a few things. He's seen things I haven't. The island's going to end, he's too weak to do anything, so what's the harm? Could he have killed the council? No way, he has limits. He can barely hold physical objects. His weakened astral body conflicts with our reality. What about other demons? On the island? I assume the marshals got them all after the Henry incident. So you're not aware of any other demons on the island that might have gotten into the council penthouse last night and redecorated in, say, a nice shade of viscera? What do you know about secret demonology labs? A lot. You mean the one in the dead zone coded to witness and Carmelina's blood vials? Good work, lady. I've been in it, but I don't know how it was kept a secret. 
I think it was an old panic room Carmelina designed into the island. I've never been in there, but I realize Witness was up to something a while back. He managed to keep it a secret from everyone else, but I have ways of finding things out. Why did he start down this dark path? Witness wants to understand why Paradise fails. The fail point is demonic corruption. It rots the islands and causes the end of a paradise. I need to find out more.